Well, hello everybody, Mr. O here. And the project I'm going to be assigning today is going to be dragons and uh, gargoyles. So you can choose what you would like to do. You guys got to forgive me. I'm at a weird angle so I can demonstrate to you. I need to figure out how to do it live better. And my blue is a little darker than I normally have it also. Um, let's just go down in size a little bit. And what I'm doing is I'm doing an outline. I created a layer. And you guys have probably seen this in drawing books and other things I have shown you. And with digital art, uh, you, you're probably going to be doing a lot of scrolling. I've decided I the back end was going to be a little thicker. Um, I'm going to figure out the legs. I'm going to have it more sitting and maybe tail coming around. As you can probably figure out, I'm not doing a gargoyle right now. I'm going to do a dragon. And let's see. No, nope, that doesn't match up very well, does it? So let's do let's do it down. Okay. And I think that will get me where, where I'm going. And and everything you you see right now is just a base sketch, right? And now I'm I kind of put uh let let me do this. I'm going to erase this. The last part, because sometimes we forget that dragons don't always have to have the bat wing style. They could be feathery. I don't know if I said that right. It could be full of feathers. How's that? And uh, same thing with your gargoyles. Now, the reason we decided to do gargoyles is because some people can do people so much better. Um... Uh, I should say human type figures so much better uh, than animals. So this will give you a choice which you want to do. Now I do have an animal proportion video that I think everyone should watch and as for the human proportion that will be under the comic book lesson and as you can see it could be something with action and as you can see, I'm just laying out the proportions of my character, no details. And once I figure out what I'm doing and how I'm doing it, um, I can then make it, you know, whether I'm doing a pink dragon, um, a concrete gargoyle, and but I, I can figure out what I want as a character. As you can see, I'm shrinking the paper down. Um, this way I can draw more stuff because there's other kinds of dragons and this is why it's important to know what you're going to do. Is it a land dragon? Is it an air dragon? You know, there's dragons that might, you know, be better off being more like crocodiles. Uh, they could have whips for tails, but short stubby arms, muscular, thick claws, maybe their jaws are a lot bigger, like the alligator, it's used for snapping and tearing things apart. And you see how I'm just laying things out. Now, I use light blue or um, uh, light gray for that. Um, once I figure out, the, you know, the shape, and you may want to even practice this, sorry, notifications on my computer. Uh, you may even want to practice this on paper first. And then you start drawing. You know, I think of, let's say, a um, giraffe and how, how I'm going to do um, the head. Could be a little different, could be more bird-like. Um, and I might just take that line and go back a little bit. Could have a puff of smoke. You know, are is it going to be feathery? Feathery? I don't. I, I'm making up words now. Is it going to have more feathers coming out? Um, 
Uh, I'll have a Mr. O to English dictionary for you guys in case you're getting kind of confused. Um, as I said, sometimes when I'm tired, my uh, speech impediment, I don't know if that's really speech impediment or just I, I like my own words. Um, I have a thing. Um, so as you can see, I'm starting to lay things out. Now, how does that look? You know, and then I'm just gonna do here, I'm gonna show you the next step. And that's kind of like inking your, um, and, and as you can see, I have lots of rough lines. Nothing is totally, uh, you know, finished here. It's still very rough, a lot of extra lines, right guys? You, you can see that. And what I'll do is I'm going to add a layer. There's my cursor. And I'm gonna add a layer, and it would probably be better if I named it, but I'm not gonna worry about that right now. And I'm going to switch this, that way I can just turn it black. And I want this line to probably be a little thinner. This way it's more of a detail line, maybe a little thicker than that. And a little thinner, there we go. I can actually shoot it down this way. There we go, go to 11. And I'm gonna increase the size so you guys can see the detailing a lot better. And so I have my black and you know what? I'm gonna switch what I'm doing here, which I'm using. I'm, I'm looking for my real gel pen. And uh, here we go, pens are over. I was already in the right spot, real gel pen. And I think what I want to do is increase that size there. And that way, when I'm inking, you see what I'm doing here? And even though that's going to be a different color, I can get the pupil. And I want to, I, I'm thinking of a more of a cat's eye right now. So I'm putting that, I'm not going to color anything. Um, I don't want, uh, I want some texture to the ridges if this is going to be a beak I want it to kind of have if you look at birds and stuff the way it comes out I don't know if I 100% want that just yet but you see how nice and smooth my lines are and when I do this this will allow me some choices and I want to do something original uh, you can't always do that. I don't know. It wasn't that wasn't like intentional there, but I do um, like the look of that. You know, got to have some teeth. Now, is this a nice dragon? Is it a bad dragon? We don't know. We'll wait as we go. As I'm thinking about where would a dragon like this live? Um, let me just start working on the neck a little bit. I want to show you large scales. Um, I have a video that we'll watch uh, dealing with scales, feathers, hair, because, you know, between gargoyles and everything, you're going to want texture. And as you can see, I'm slowly building, and um, I'm going to just show you, those are large scales, but let's just kind of show you some smaller scale. Now, you do not have to draw every scale. Now you do want to draw um, some, um, even if they're small, it might be three, it might be four, just to show a little texture there. And I'm gonna do a little more work. Something bo is bothering me around the eyes, maybe just a little ridges and stuff, some wrinkles, because you know, even if it is scales, it's gonna have texture. And um, so that is the start of me designing. And I'm just gonna go down here. And I just wanna kinda show you, claws are always kinda cool. So here I'm gonna do a finger claw. And it's kinda like when you're adding a ring or a necklace, you wanna go beyond because the claws kinda grow out. And like our fingernails, they're, you know, they come out and we got that little extra skin. And but so you see my movement there, but then I'm gonna bring the claw. And since it's a dimensional 
object, I want to kind of almost do a dividing line. Like it, you can almost tell that it's curved without drawing that it's curved. When I get to this one, this one will have that curve to help accent this right here. And I'm going to put little wrinkles like knuckle joint. And uh, it doesn't seem like much. And then when I make this disappear, this layer, now for some of you, you're learning, you know, exactly what that's going to look like. So that's what it's looking like right now. And if we go over somewhere, 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 I'll have to shrink it down so I can find my, uh, oh, that's because I can't find it because I don't have my, um, when we're talking about gargoyles and stuff, um, your gargoyle research it, um, you know, they're, they're something that, you know, they protect a lot of churches and monasteries. Um, and let's just say, I'm, I'm going to just do a horn here. Now, what I probably am going to do when I texture it, I might just take an eraser, make sure that good. It's not too big. And I'm going to put some cracks in it. Go back to the pen. And because I wasn't sure where and it's almost I know it's like extra work, but sometimes going back in. I'm going to put some cracks there. So it gives it that concrete look. So everything's a little harsher when it comes to the gargoyle. Maybe you can be softer and when you do hair your can your gargoyle have hair yes can your dragon have hair absolutely they could have manes like lions or they could have hair on top of their heads so you need to design something original i know the first impulse is to find something on the internet and trace it don't do that um we're going to be having a contest this year with an actual company where you can win a device not like this one, but made by the same company. That's pretty awesome. Okay, sorry for the shaking table. I'm, I'm kneeing the table here. Um, so, guys, get started on practicing and designing. Uh, we can call the school year of 21-22 the year of the dragon. Um, like even myself, I'm kind of so inspired about doing dragons. The teachers are having an art show at the Art Center in May. And I am that little graphite, that the pencil dragon that I showed you at the very beginning of the trimester. I am going to do that, but on a large, large paper. And I, I got a great idea about changing the pose and, and making something that looks adorable and scary at the same time. I guess that's just kind of how I do things. So you guys have a great day. And uh, let me do this. Uh, like I said, even though this is an instructional video versus a YouTube, my YouTube channel, um, I, don't forget. All right, we'll talk to you later. Sorry for the shaky cam.